Mark, thank you so much for talking to us this morning for another feature, another episode of My Club, My Town. Why don't we start at the beginning and how you became a supporter of the club? Uh, well, thank you very much, first of all, for having me here. Uh, I first came to this ground way, way back when I was a child. Uh, a friend of the family brought me to uh, a game here. Um, he was a Liverpool fan. I sat in the away fans uh, with all the Liverpool fans. Ipswich 1-2-1. I fell in love with the blue kit and that was me hooked and uh, been a, 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 a massive fan ever, ever, ever since. Mm. And what sort of, um, what years was that, what era was that that you were watching? Uh, watching way back, my first game was way back in the 70s, early 70s, um, but uh, like I say, fan ever since. Yeah, and who were some of your favourite players when you were growing up? From way back then, my favourite ever player is John Walk, um, magnificent player, uh, incredible longevity, uh, wonderful midfielder, and of course that incredible season where he scores something like 36 goals from yeah. midfield is just just the, the, the stuff of folklore. Mm. And how have your experiences been? So you've followed the club during the highs and the lows, as they say. How has that been for you? Uh, being an Ipswich fan is never easy. We don't seem to do things the easy way, uh, but nevertheless, it's still very enjoyable. Um, we season ticket holders have been for, for a few years. And we have our football family here, as yeah. it were, and uh, it's just wonderful to come and be part of it um, whenever we can get here. And we're sat not quite in your seat because the sun is very bright this morning, but very close to. What do you enjoy about a match day at Portman Road? It's everything. It's the, it's, it's, it's the anticipation of the game. It's the build up to, 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 to Saturday. Um, it's looking at the league table at the moment and, and, and enjoying, oh my son especially, I've got a young son who's, who's only 12 and is enjoying um, being somewhere near the top of the league um, and uh, it, it's just getting together with all, all our friends, like I say, our football family and just seeing the stadium full of people, it's, it's sensational. I, I wouldn't swap it for, for, for anything. And of course it is Black History Month at the moment and, and why do you feel like it's important to celebrate the, the culture and contribution of black people in sport but also in society and culture in general? Well, black History Month is a, is a wonderful opportunity uh, to promote and to celebrate uh, the contributions of black culture and black history into British society as, as a whole. Um, a lot of the schools I've been involved in uh, Every year they seem to, to just do better and better in sort of bringing that to the fore so our children um, can learn more about black history and that's very important. Mm. And particularly in sport, what have you experienced growing up as a, as a town fan? How have your experiences been at Portman Road? Uh, my experiences at Portman Road are very good. Um, I think as a, as a club we do, we do an awful lot right. There's a lot of inclusion here and that makes, it, that makes it easier and more welcoming for any of our fans from black and ethnic minorities to come um, and, and, join, and join our family here. Yeah. Um, this season especially we seem to have more black and ethnic minority players on the pitch and that makes, that makes it wonderful. I think we, 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 we must have maybe 12, 13, 14 players like that in our, yeah. in our squad and they're all making fantastic contributions. Yeah. And um, as the old adage goes, you, you cannot be what you cannot see. Yeah. So it's, it's great to see that diversity on the pitch and, and that in turn will hopefully reflect on the diversity within our fan base as well. And is there anything that you feel the sport as a whole, you know, football in general needs to do to, to carry on progressing and reach a point where we can say, you know, we have full, full equality in the game and, and diversity is celebrated as a, as a wonderful thing. Well, I think the British game and British sport in general has made great strides. We've got organisations like, um, like Kick It Out um, and they look to sort of um, deal, with, deal with issues sort of head on. Um, We've come an awful long way, but there's still work to be done. I don't know if you recall in the Euro, Euro 2020 final, we still yeah. had issues with players like uh, Saka and, and Sancho and, and um, oh, Marcus Rashford. Rashford. Yeah. Um, so it shows there's still work to be done, but we are making great strides. Yeah. Here at Portman Road, it's, it's, um, it, it is excellent. It really, it really is excellent. We would never experience any issues whatsoever. And uh, I, I, like I said, I've been coming with my young son since he was six years old, mm. um, and I wouldn't bring him to an environment where there was a possibility um, uh, of issues being encountered. Yeah, and also celebrating, like you say, the, the contribution. And we're filming this before before the Lincoln match, which you and your family will be going to. And, and part of that celebration will be, uh, you know, Steel Band. We've got pre-match playlists dedicated to black iconic artists. You know, it's, it's all being celebrated. How important is it that the football club joins in with that? I think that that's that's a really good point. That's a really strong point. Um, 
if we do more events, more things that are more inclusive, uh, it can only be good in, sh in showing that our fans are, that we're part of our community. Yeah. Um, and it's important to reflect the makeup of our community. And if we're doing that here as a club, I'm absolutely all for it. And you've spoken about um, your enjoyment and experiences of being a town fan. And how much pride does it feel with that you've got your son here with you today as well and that next generation is also coming and enjoying the, the football at Portman Road? Yes, that's, 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 a, that's a really great point. I'm full of pride of my son. He can come and join uh, and we, we can share the match day experience. We've, and again, seeing that diversity on the pitch, it is good not only for him, but for any uh, of, of, of the ethnic um, minorities to see our players. Yeah. Um, and, and in a way, it's nice to see because When you see your heroes and they look a bit like you, mm. it gives you that, that inspiration that I too can do that. Yeah. And, and that, that is so key. There must be hundreds of thousands of children who all want to be footballers. And then maybe, maybe in the 80s, 70s, 80s, 90s, they weren't quite sure. Maybe it might not be for me. Yeah. Um, but as like I say, great strides have been made. Mm. We've got a few black managers um, in, in and around the game. People like Darren Moore, yeah. uh, people like Patrick Vieira. And again, it is great to see. It gives you that inspiration that maybe, you know, if, once I stop playing or if I don't want to be a player, I can, be, I can become a manager. And again, that's very important for the, for the next generation coming up. And on that, on, the, on, your, on your family coming to the games and being season ticket holders, you said off camera, covering some serious miles this season. <laughs> what does a, a Saturday or, or even a Tuesday night look for you? What does that look like for you? Uh, we, we don't do too many Tuesday games here yeah. because of the distance and on a school night, but the Saturdays, um, depending on where we go, we'll either make a weekend of it and try and get up there the night before and uh, enjoy the game the next day, or it does involve very early starts and, and plenty of miles. Yeah driving around but we, we will follow the town wherever you know up 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 or down we will follow the town yeah. there's no doubt and <laughs> finally how much you enjoying we spoke about portman road and, and match days as general how much you enjoying watching the team on the pitch right now seeing the stadium when it's full when the the, the noise is is just at a, a fever pitch it, it's sensational um, I've been here when we've had maybe 10 12 14 thousand and everyone's not very happy but Kieran McKenna's come in and he's brought players with him and he's, he's playing a brand of attacking football that's just and so enjoyable to watch. You know, whoever you're going to play, we're going to give them a great game. Yeah. I read an interview with one of the managers recently. He was saying, you never know what formation Ipswich are going to play. Mm. You know, will it be 4-4-3, uh, 4-3-1-2? Uh, when we attack, we attack with like a front seven. Um, and he's absolutely right. It's, it's just a joy to watch. It really, it really is. Um, we love coming here and I, I really hope this is the season we can, we can make promotion happen after all these, 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 these years. Yeah. <laughs> well, Mark, it's been an absolute pleasure having you in this morning. I hope you've enjoyed being on this feature and uh, enjoy the game this afternoon. Thank you very much. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you.